this video, we're going to review the, the mechanism of uh, DNA polymerase. This is topic uh, 4.4 for exam 4. Um, and here in this uh, picture, what we're trying to illustrate is this idea of uh, temp a template uh, directed in chemistry. So here, here's the template strand. Over here is the primer strand, primer. And uh, this is the incoming nucleotide triphosphate, the DNTP. And as shown here, there's a, a perfect match between the template adenine and the incoming DNTP. Uh, and for that reason, the O-helix can move into position and make favorable van der Waals interactions between this tyrosine residue and the, the newly formed, the, the forming base pair. And that gives the green light for chemistry to happen over here as metal, as catalyzed by these, these metal ions. And uh, in the next uh, picture, we'll see the situation when things are, are not perfect, when, when there's a mismatch between the the base pairs, the, the, the base pair that's forming. Now, uh, this structural defect prevents the O helix from going completely into position, and, and therefore chemistry is not catalyzed o o over here. To, uh, to o go over the, what's actually happening in terms of chemistry, we'll now focus in on these two metal ions the, the three phosphate groups of the incoming DNTP. And right now we don't know what the template strand is. It's over here off to the side. We're just focusing on the chemistry. But assuming that we have the green light, that the O helix has moved into position. Now these catalytic groups are also uh, moving just ever so slightly into their uh, catalytically competent uh, positions. The, the two magnesium ions are held in place by the phosphate groups and these residues of, of the DNA polymerase, the aspartate residues. There's always two uh, car uh, carboxylate groups that, that hold these two metal ions in place. One of them is uh, also uh, held in place by the phosphate groups themselves from the incoming DN DNTP. So the metals arrive with the nucleotide and are also held in place by residues of the DNA polymerase. And this is the important uh, nucleophile, or what will become the nucleophile, the three prime hydroxyl group of the primer strand. And there's some base group uh, that's going to uh, remove this proton or provide a, a, a landing platform for this proton. The, the whole alcohol group is made more acidic, more reactive because of its coordination by this magnesium metal ion, very similar to what we saw with carbonic and anhydrase. So uh, after the, the proton is um, abstracted by that base, now we have a strong nucleophile, the alkoxide ion. Uh, analog analogy would be the serine 195 of chy chymotrypsin. And it is poised to attack this electrophilic center, this alpha phosphate, the, the phosphate, innermost phosphate of the incoming nucleotide triphosphate. And uh, the accumulating negative charge on the on this phosphorus is stabilized by the, the positively charged metal metal ions. And we, after, during during the course of attack, we encounter the pentacoordinate phosphorus transition state. So there's five things attached to this phosphorus. Uh, one of them is attached to the rest of the, the nucleotide. We have two uh, equatorial oxygens. And then the leaving group is attached to this pyrophosphate moiety. And this is the new bond that's forming. This is the bond connecting the three prime hydroxyl and the incoming, uh, and the alpha phosphate. And the, the, final, uh, the final structure just shows the product. We have here the, the completely detached pyrophosphate leaving group. We have a new ester bond linking the primer DNA to the, the, the new nucleotide. And, Importantly, we've generated a new 3' prime hydroxyl for the next catalytic cycle, and now DNA polymerase can move this catalytic apparatus one unit forward and continue the whole process uh, for template-directed addition of each of, the, of these for, for the next nucleotide triphosphate.